the face of a young Marine, barely out of high school, the majority of his life spent in a classroom far from a violent war. That photo was taken 18 years ago. Adrian Romero is now 37 years old. I don't think I had grasped what I, what I really signed up for, you know? Adrian was just two weeks out of high school when he joined the Marines. His own mother told him not to. I chose my own to uh, like sign my papers. And uh, now I see what she was trying to prevent me from. For the next four years, Adrian would serve his country. Seven months were in Iraq. He says it's hard to process watching a friend, a fellow soldier, die in battle and not be able to grieve their loss because you're afraid for your own life. Once your life has been threatened one time, you're different. And when your life is threatened multiple times, you stay in a constant state of fear. So that's kind of like what I deal with daily. Adrian was diagnosed with PTSD, but denied it for years. He even thought about taking his own life, and he's far from alone. According to the VA, in 2014, 259 veterans took their own life in Arizona alone. The suicide rate is specifically high in Maricopa County, 54 per 100,000. The national average, 38. Phoenix Mayor Greg Stanton says the numbers are shocking. I don't know why. I don't think anybody knows why, but we have to find out. The mayor's office, along with 21 other people, are part of a new interagency team to increase veteran support and reduce suicides in the county and Arizona. Adrian is hoping this new team can make a difference. He has a message to other veterans struggling. We want you here. We need you here. You are important. That's what I was saying. In Phoenix, Justin Pizera, ABC 15, Arizona.